Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPP Nut video series on STL algorithms and this video is going to be an introduction video about what is algorithm in standard template library. And then I'll show you a small example how a algorithm looks like and how to include those headers. I mean, it's not that hard, but you will get the feeling. So let's talk about some basic in the STL. So STL is composed of iterator and container and algorithm. So standard template library is nothing but combination of these three things. So iterator, we know that iterator is used to iterate over containers. So there are so many containers, vector, array, set, multiset, map and all that. Now let's suppose if there is a vector and it looks like this and you want to iterate over this vector, right? So you will use iterator in order to iterate over this vector. Why we need this iterator? Because your data type, what you are storing in all these containers can be different. So it automatically adjusts itself to iterate over the containers. And that's what it does. So this is okay. And containers, we know that, okay, these many containers are there. I mean, there are so many containers. I have already given all the containers maybe. And this time we are going to give this algorithm. So what is this algorithm in standard template library? What I mean is, let's suppose you have this vector here and it is already sorted. Let's assume that you have this vector and you have 5, 3, 1, 2, 4. And you want this to be sorted. This is your vector and you want it to be sorted. So sort is an algorithm, right? We all know that. Yes. So sort is provided into algorithm section. If you want to count how many 5 are there inside this array, that is provided inside algorithm. You want to find whether this one is there or not in this array that is provided into the algorithm. So you can visualize now that all algorithms like basic basic algorithms are available inside this algorithm section. So let's quickly see these nodes. So the first one is STL algorithm library defines function for variety of purposes. So as I said that algorithm will have so many functions under it so that you can use those functions to find something or count something or sort it and all those things on this container. Okay. And the example is like searching, sorting, counting, manipulating. So these things are loaded into algorithm section. So can you see this? This STL library is now a full fledged library. Whatever a programmer needs, this is available. You want a container so that you can store your data efficiently and you want a trader to trade over that data and you need an algorithm to perform some operation on that data. So now you can see that we have a full combination here. That's why it's cool. Okay, so second point is algorithms are applied on range of elements. Yeah, this is very important. You apply some algorithm, let's suppose you're applying this sort, meaning you will say that, okay, take this vector and apply from zeroth position to fifth, fourth position. Okay, you'll give it, meaning sort, you will give zero comma four, something like this, not exactly this, but something like this. You can give zero comma three. 0 comma 1. So if you are giving 0 comma 1 for this sort, it will only sort between 0 to 1, meaning it will sort only these two, meaning 3 will come here and 5 will come here. All these things will remain as it is. So your algorithms take range that, okay, in what range they have to do the operation or perform the algorithm. And the third is very trivial point. We use algorithm header to get all the algorithms available inside this STL library. So let's quickly jump to the program and see how it works. Hey guys, it's time for a quick pause. And what you're seeing right now is my Patreon page. So if you don't know what is Patreon, it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me. And in return, you get rewards. So if you join me, I can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and I'll still have something for you. So do visit my Patreon page and see if you like it. And if you want to discontinue anytime, you can do that. So if you have already visited my Patreon page, let's continue our video now. So this is your program here. Let me write some STD vector 
of integer we need a vector let's put some value 4 comma 3 comma 5 comma 2 comma 6 comma 1 that's it and let's do some find operation for that you need find vector of integer iterator it is equal to std find and you want to give okay vector begin to vector and and this is the number you want to find let's suppose 4 and then if this it is equal to equal to vectors and meaning we have not found anything then we'll print uh, not found and if we have found something then it will be in else case so let's put that else case see out found correct I'll compile this compile successfully let's execute this see it is saying found okay let's try to understand what is happening here see this is the algorithm I'm using I'm saying that find four inside vector and I told you right we have to give the range in what range you want to look so we are giving the range like vector dot begin meaning the beginning of the vector and end means full you want to search from 0 to 5 and now you have to understand what each and every function does I mean algorithms does so this find if you see here it will return you the iterator so iterator meaning its job is to find some element right so let's suppose it found 4 here only so it will return the iterator which is pointing to this 4 so we have got the iterator it and we are checking that whether this iterator is equal to equal to and this and meaning it is pointing after this one so one is there right so after one there is nothing but you have to assume that after one there is this spatial and lies okay so if find is able to find four then it will return the iterator which is actually pointing to four otherwise it will search in whole the space and it will find that okay i have not able to get anything it will return and and now iterator will point and and this will become true and will say okay it is not found so it's very simple if you have found it you will return the iterator which is pointing to that particular element otherwise you will return and of that container so for us the container is vector here so let's do something which is not there so i'll try to find nine at this time okay here so let's compile this again and execute it see it is saying not found so this time it is not able to find this and you know what if this in syntax is little more to you then you can use auto here no problem this auto will work like anything so let's compile this and execute it see it's working fine so this was one of the example like find and all that there are so many algorithms i will cover them one by one in each and every video after this so until then take care yourself and i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care